A very good morning, thanks for clicking on to the Wednesday edition of Vogan's European Outlook. We're back to looking at the Northern Hemispheric weather pattern and when that happens we are typically talking about colder weather and uh, that looks as if it's going to be the case as we go into the weekend and in the next week it looks as if not one but two waves of colder will come down from the Arctic as we go through the weekend and in the next week and it's really the first taste of autumn really uh, let's just let's just kind of put in the um uh, into account that we are at the end of october beginning of november it's been so mild this is why it's going to feel a little bit strange and a bit of a shock to the system when it comes to cold weather but the north atlantic oscillation will be temporarily going negative and that will be what will allow um the wesley's to um, basically shut down and the northerlies will kick in and we are going to see potentially some snow uh, mainly up over higher ground could we get a mixture uh, down the lower levels next week it's a, a, a small possibility but i think what we are most likely to, to to see during next week is the first widespread frost of the season so far so let's get right to it the gfs and sombo 500 millibar height anomalies looking at the hemispheric pattern this is greenland here of course is the uk and ireland here what we're going to start to see is as we go from late this week into the weekend uh, ridge of high pressure lifting out of canada up into uh, greenland and that is essentially what's going to turn our winds more from the north we've got high pressure that's going to kind of settle things down as we go into the latter half of this working week here and then as you can see here we start to skip through this kind of stretched out elongated west east ridge of high pressure initially shuts things down in terms of uh, active weather but then as you notice as we go into the weekend uh, this area of high pressure starts to point its nose up into the eastern side of greenland and that will allow this trough over the eastern arctic to start coming south so while low pressure starts to establish itself over the Norwegian Sea, over the North Sea, high pressure to the west means our air flow is coming in from the north. And of course, with low pressure, we could be talking about wintry precipitation. Uh, like I say, primarily over the hills, but don't be surprised if we see something down at lower levels here. Uh, so you can see here a perfect setup here for a northerly discharge uh, from the Arctic. We've got the uh, low pressure off the eastern side of Canada, ridge over the top, and of course, with the trough sitting over the north shore of Poland and the uh, the trough sitting over the north shore of Poland uh, we've got the uh, upper level ridge on the south shore of Iceland we've got that perfect setup here to bring in the first wave of cold of the autumn so far then as we go forward it looks as if that high kind of somewhat builds into the British Isles keeping things fairly settled probably cool by night uh, pleasant by day nothing particularly warm now uh, and then we get another um, ridge building up into the same uh, area once again so that would be the second shot of cold air mid to late next week with another low pressure system centered close to the north sea and of course the ridge of high pressure out to the west of the british isles here so a lot to play for two waves of cold coming this weekend in the next week and let's just see how it pans out with regards to snowfall. Stay tuned and I'll be back later on with a, with a written post. Bye for now.